my name is Christine. I'm a full-time accountant, part-time group fitness instructor from Vancouver, BC, Canada. And I'm here to share my first week results being on the 30-day nutritional cleanse system with Isogenics. I can tell you right now, it was definitely interesting. It wasn't easy. Um, I think we grow up being conditioned to have three meals a day and to take two of those away and replace them with shakes and then add in some pills and then saying you can have some snacks um, really did a number with the mind and I felt like it was really mind over anything that got me through this week and I definitely had tools where I had a notebook tracking everything helping me stay accountable as well. I have a partner at the gym who's doing this with me. So we also did little check-ins with each other. And also just being creative. I think with my snacks, I felt like if I made my snacks look like a meal, then maybe it wouldn't feel like I was depriving myself. And some examples of snacks could be here and over here. So I definitely was trying to maximize with volume um, those calories that I was allowed to intake for each of those snacks. Um, I definitely want to start out by saying my results are my journey. Um, you know, I think everyone goes on a fitness journey or a health and wellness journey expecting to get the same results as someone else. And I just want to say that you know, this definitely did work for me, I think a lot better than I had expected. But at the same time, I don't want you to come for me because I didn't realize that the amount of weight I had dropped was far more than I had ever expected. And I think there was definitely a lot of factors that I get into later on in this video that went into what that total change was over the week. Um, I learned a lot with managing my food and my energy. I am at my desk full time Monday to Friday and then I teach classes in the evening and then I also do my own workouts on the weekend and I was trying to play around with the timing of my food and it really hurt me because I was just so worried that maybe I might be hungry in the evening and so I was putting off that second snack when I should have eaten it before I had to go for my workout and it really played a factor in um, like my calves seizing up when I was in class. So um, definitely there have been a lot of things that I've learned in that first week that I'm taking into my second week and hopefully will make the third and fourth week even easier. Surprisingly, my first cleanse day, I managed fairly well. Um, I was expecting to wake up like the following morning just being famished and starved and that wasn't the case. Um, I was able to really spread out those cleanse drinks and really take advantage of those 10 points of cleanse day approved snacks that I'm allowed throughout the day and that definitely kept me afloat and there was no hangriness going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna flip through a bunch of photos, some check-ins I had throughout the week and at the end you'll see all my results and um, stick around to the end. So this was everything again in my pack. I have a whole unboxing video where I go through each product. This is my journal where I track everything and just to show you my starting weight was 213.2 pounds. Good morning, this is day one. This is my breakfast. So I'm gonna take the natural accelerator. We'll start out with the Ionic Supreme first. I'm just gonna shoot it down my cute little shot glass. Then I'm gonna do my chocolate mint isolating shake along with the accelerator. Oh my god, this is day three check-in. I'm halfway through my second class. I'm hungry, tired. I don't even know how I'm surviving. Still going. All right, this is my day four check-in. Um, this is my fourth cleanse. 
um, drink for the day. You drink four of them, two scoops with um, is eight ounces of water. Or, anyways, so I fill it up just so I can get extra water in there. And um, I'm going to have some Waythins as my final um, approved snack and then call it a day, but I survived. Good morning. This is now my first shake day back after my first cleanse day. Surprisingly, I thought I would wake up feeling like super starved and um, I didn't, which is great because that would have been a real turn off to wanting to do a cleanse day, but I actually feel okay. So now I'm going to have my Ionic Supreme and birthday cake. So pro tip when doing the shakes, what I've learned is you got to put some water at the bottom before putting into powder. And then I like to add ice, more water, and then it won't get stuck to the bottom and tends to blend or shake up way better than um, if it was like powder and then water. So um, bottoms up. So before starting this journey, um, my accountability partner, Melissa, gave me this lovely notebook and she left a little note saying thank you and just really kind words. And I said I wouldn't get rid of it but I was going to use it to start our journey together. And she also got a notebook. And what we did was we have our day one. We did all of our measurements. We weighed in. And then we set up every single page to kind of prepare us for what we have up ahead. Each shake day, our cleanse day, what pills we need to take, what... Um, calorie intake we're allowed for our snacks and our dinner and then we also wanted to make sure we were getting enough water we planned a workout and just also a check-in like how am I feeling because every single day especially for me I wanted to know how do I feel is this working for me what's my energy level um at like today and so each page is really me kind of checking in, checking off those boxes because it's so satisfying when you can check off a box and also feel like you're still on track. And then you can also look back too and just be like, well, what worked, what didn't work. So yeah. And then I just wanted to show you here, this is... Um, we use a weigh-in, the, all the like little stats and things that tell you what what is, that they didn't have it. So I just wanted to print it off. But this first line here, as you can see, I've been really just maintaining for such a long time, since October. And I pretty much got to a point where I'm like, you know what? Things need to change. And so that's my weigh-in day. And then I weighed in and like they didn't have papers, so I had to weigh in twice. So not much of a difference, but essentially I lost eight pounds in my first week. Unfortunately, I dropped two pounds of muscle and I didn't really see much of a change in my body fat percentage. So I'm thinking this is this huge drop is a lot of water weight and definitely muscle. So, you know, a drop of eight pounds in one week is a lot of weight to lose in one week. So by no means am I saying like you're going to get those same results. Um, this is definitely, you know, my experience with it and everyone's results will be different. My accountability partner lost four pounds. She kept the muscle and she lost, I think, about one percent body fat so I'm just showing you like that is such a wide range in results and everyone is going to be different for me because I am a little heavier I do have more weight to lose versus um, my friend Melissa who was already starting out at about 140 pounds so the weight loss for her probably wouldn't be as big as mine and before I even started you know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have the same food all the time. 
So I decided to have a really nice meal at Boston Pizza. So definitely, you know, there's quite a few factors that come into play here when you look at my starting weight to what my one week change has been. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for week two updates.